bet if you're watching this video here with me that saving the world is your passion and it's probably also your job. But there is a major problem in the environment and climate change profession. And that is, while we all know what we need to do, like we need to install more solar and get rid of plastic in the ocean and get rid of gasoline powered cars, most of us are really stuck on how we get thousands or even millions of people and governments and corporations to adopt all of these changes and to adopt them fast. I speak to city managers and NGOs and impact startups all the time who have really big goals like trying to reach the Paris Agreement of reducing emissions by 80%. But they are all stuck on the how. And that's because in this how is the science of human influence. We have all of the solutions and technology already. What we need is the psychology of how to influence humans to do stuff, how to get people to change. And we do not learn this in environmental science or climate change school. This is a disaster because most of the programs, projects and ideas are really only functioning at about 20% of their potential. And sometimes millions of dollars are invested and nothing happens at all. And that's because they so often break the fundamental laws of how to tap in to the motivational core of the human mind. Now there is a way to influence humans to change for the planet. And the first time I learned this, it was really like putting on glasses and being able to see clearly for the first time. And I actually felt pretty silly that I didn't learn it earlier and I've been obsessed and fascinated with it ever since. So what is it? What is the psychology of getting humans to act? It's about 20 different techniques that leverage the deep drivers in the mind. I'll share a couple of examples. One study tested a message that said, please save water for the environment. And it didn't work at all. And the other message said, please save water because 82% of your neighbors do it. And that's the one that worked. It's a technique called social norms. Another study showed people their energy consumption with the units of carbon dioxide or in terms of money. Now, surprisingly, the message about carbon dioxide actually worked better than the one about money. But what was really interesting was when they put both the metrics together, carbon dioxide and money, it canceled the effect and nobody saved any energy at all. That's because of something called cognitive load or the crowd out effect. Another study tested how people responded to negative or scary images of climate change and found that they had a shutting down or a freezing effect, whereas positive images of climate change like solar panels or wind turbines actually increased people's attention. Or simply adding a digital flower and the statement, thank you for helping, increased Wikipedia volunteer editors time they spend editing by 22%. And there are so many more examples and theories like this. It's a cornucopia of techniques to draw from that can literally help you change the world. So instead of feeling overwhelmed about the world, learning the tools of human persuasion design is like being able to wield human agency in a bottle. It works for individual people, it works for schools, for groups, for cities, for governments, for building movements. All along the scale, from individual to systems change, it works. And the tragedy is that this research is sitting in academic papers and it's just not getting out into the field. So I'm on a mission to bridge the gap and bring this knowledge to people like you and me who are really trying to make change happen every day. I do this by interviewing the authors of the academic journals for my podcast, How to Save the World, where we take a deep intellectual dive into the theories and the techniques to unpack it into a way that's easy to understand and easy to implement. Then I write a blog article, I design infographics, I create a tutorial slideshow of the main points, and I host a free monthly Fitbit for the Planet video hangout where anybody can join and ask questions of the experts. But I'm making this video because I need your help. I'm just one person with a big passion and I can't do this alone. I'm asking you to support me in my mission to bring environmental psychology, behavior and gamification design to the many thousands of people whose job it is to implement change every single day. If you can contribute a few dollars a month, you can get access to my books, my courses, idea storming calls, and you can message me whenever you want to get advice on your projects and ideas. If you're not in a position to donate financially, you can help in other ways, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, it all helps. I really love to learn and to share this stuff. And I wanna help others have the same lightning bolt moments that it's given me. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you'll be able to click the link, make a donation, or like, subscribe, and share, and help me to ignite our movement with the power of the psychology to save the world.